What's up, people? Martin X79. It's here, and we are back again today with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the Brainiac Donatello, Master of the Bow Staff. GameStop exclusive, uh, sponsored by Nickelodeon. Yesterday, we did Leon Leonardo, the leader. Today, we are doing the Brainiac. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. We've got the side, got the Nickelodeon logo, picture of Donnie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Another cool pic of Donnie, just standing there nonchalant. Like, really, guys? Really? NECA, turn it to the back here. Nickelodeon again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Got some cool action pictures of Donnie holding his bow staffs, holding a slice of pizza, Donatello. Uh, the highly de de detailed action figure stands six foot five. Go ahead and freeze that if you want to read it now. I got the pictures of the turtles in their iconic. Ha, look at that. <laughs> How they were on the on the box art. And spin it to this side here. Got another cool picture of Donnie. Spin it back to the front. Got the figure, the slice of pizza. Kind of see the bow staff on the side here. The turtles. To the top, to the bottom. All right, man, let's crack this baby open. And we are back, people, and we have our Donatello out of the package, and he is looking glorious as ever. Man, oh man, when I, I cannot express to you guys how happy I am to have these TMNT figures in my collection, man some of the best like I said this is a this set is quickly becoming a golden grail in my collection of action figures I mean I've been collecting for about 10 to 15 years now man and this is definitely easily becoming one of my favorite sets that I own so happy to have this one man all right let's go ahead and let's tear into them here and we got the Donatello here looking just brilliant man so I'm trying to get him in the see his face in the light here it looks just like he jumped off right out of the movie brother oh man look at that got this purple bandana to the top of the head see his spots on his face the arms here looks glorious with the inside of the turtle shell bow staff legs the definition of the muscle and legs is beautiful knee pads here elbow pads, wrist pads, to the toes, the turtle toes, the shins, spinning around to the back here to the side. Now we're starting to see the beautiful designs of the turtle shell. Uh, looks like it got a little bit of a defect there. Ugh. Hmm. Might be able to scratch that off, maybe. But, got the knee pads to the side, that silver painting right there is a little bit off because probably could have been a little bit better there but no big deal definitely gonna have to see if we can scratch that off there mm -hmm. no, that is not coming off hmm. uh, might be able to kind of melt it off a bit this man it's not a definitely not a deal breaker by any means but definitely something to note though there's a little another little scratch right there so so we got the shell here, hmm, a little, how it's tied on, uh, I don't know how I feel about that brown string there, mm, I mean, I get it, should have been maybe a little bit more leathery, I think, you know what I'm saying, you know, just something to point out, definitely not a huge deal, but, you know, because obviously I'm going to be posing this guy from the front, but, you know, just something to take note of, though. And so we got the turtle shell, but the I mean the turtle shell itself is still is still beautiful though. Back of the thighs here, the leg definition is awesome. Knee joints, as you see, they did a really good job of hiding them with the uh, knee pads here. Got the veins popping out on the, the thighs. And Splinter must have had them doing like a bajillion calf raises a day. <laughs> um, got the ankles here to the feet. 
All right, man. So I say let's go on ahead and set up the stand. Let's take a look at his articulation. So a head can move downwards that much, can move upwards that much, as you can see. And can move to the left there that much, to the right that much. Definitely get a decent uh, 360 articulation with the head hair. Arm can move 360 degrees. Lift it up that much. I mean, all in all, he should have exactly the same articulation of this as the Leonardo. If you've seen that video, so I mean, honestly, you can just skip that part or skip this part if you've already seen Leonardo's articulation. But for those who haven't, you might as well keep on watching. So we've got the 360 rotation of the arm here. Straighten that back out. Lift that up there. The arm can be pushed upwards it doesn't have much of an elbow joint it can be pushed up 90 degrees straighten back back out the elbow joint can be rotated 360 degrees you can see there we go push that out then the rest here can be pushed downwards a little bit to the sides but mostly just down he cannot go up though hmm. Same thing with this one. Uh, well, that one can be pushed up a bit. Well, looks like, actually, yes, it can. It was just a little bit tight. It could be pushed up a bit, but not much, though. Definitely just, it's like mostly you can just go down here. And then, rotate that 360 degrees. Take this one 360 degrees. You can hold on to that vice, that staff there. So those cool poses. Then with the legs here, still the same tightness as the Leonardo had. It can be kicked out that much. Can be pushed backwards, not very much, that much. The knee joint is about as much as you're gonna get. It's like this knee joint can be rotated 360 degrees. It's a little bit tight though, so you just make sure you just gotta loosen it up a bit. Same thing. This knee joint really, really tight. Just gotta loosen it up here, and then it should be able to rotate. So. Then the ankle articulation can be pushed down that much, pushed upwards that much. And uh, yes. definitely loosen up these turtles when you get them out of the package, man, because they just come out really, really tight. But that's okay though. I would rather them come out tight than extremely loose and wobbly to where they can't stand up and hold their stuff. So. Same thing with this foot here. Knee joint can go like that much. Straighten that back out. And then, you know, just push that up. Push that to the side. And you don't really get too much pivot to this from side to side from the ankles. You get a, you do, you do get a little bit. So he can do those kind of those wide, you know, stances. Those wide kung fu, kung fu stances. You know, so you can definitely get him into some really awesome. Um, kung fu stances here so and he's really easy to stand up too so definitely got that going that thing going for you and plus i forgot to do this in my last video but here's a quick comparison of like my old school donatello that i that i used to have that i had it was like the first donatello that i collected as an as an adult now somehow i don't have any of my uh turtles from when i was a child i don't know what the heck happened to them but here he is yeah so there's that. Then we got the P, the P, his Donatello's piece of pizza there. It's the same thing as Leonardo's. It's got like green peppers, anchovies, tomatoes on it. it looks like cheese, the crust. And he also comes with the flowing bandana as well. I mean, you can easily pop that out and peg that in, as you can see. Ba -da -ba -ding, ba -da -ba -ding. This pops, pops right in there. And then he also comes with two kind of. It looks like he's. <laughs> looks, I don't know what he's doing. It looks like he's giving the finger. <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, looks like just. Some, but I guess just like some resting, you know, hands here. So I mean, those but those are easily can be popped out here if you would choose to do that. And then, but obviously, I'm going to have him holding his bow staff here. So with the fisted hands. So, yep. All right, man. I think one more thing I wanted to do is do a comparison with or bring our Leonardo up and show the two turtles to together. Oh, and we are back and look at that, man. We have our Leonardo standing next to our Donatello. <laughs> Wait, oh, but I, ooh, 
stay stay tuned people we still got two more turtles to go but man once i get all these on the show that is going to look glorious man that is so, so awesome dude oh, i'm so like i said man this is the reason why i collect and vlog man this is uh this is definitely a passion project for me. Absolutely, one one hundred percent. I don't care if I ever make a single penny off of this off of this video. This video is for me just as much as it is for you guys, man. Honestly, because I am just loving every bit of these turtles, man. Gotta love the turtles, man. You've got to love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, if you're if you're like a Marvel guy or like a DC girl or like a anime fan or a Power Rangers crazy or anything like that, man, it, it I feel like you had to have somehow made your way across the turtles as well, man. Because I feel like the turtles came out at least in America, the turtles was out before all that stuff. So, yeah. Two more, two more turtles to go, man. Who's gonna be next? Who's 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 gonna be next? Mikey or Raph? <laughs> so, all right, man. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button. At the making of this video, I am at 700 subscribers. So, just 300 left, man. 300 subscribers left. You can follow me at youtubecom marjack 79 I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Hit that like button, follow me on all those social media links, and stay tuned, because we still have two more turtles to go, and I can't wait. And until then, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later.